Yo, what is going on guys? It's your boy Ness We Trust here. So first off, uh, I apologize to everyone, to all my subscribers and everyone who has been following me for a while. I'm sure you guys are used to videos coming out every day or every other day, what have you. Uh, I haven't uploaded a video um, in about a week now. Uh, it's just, if you guys know, um, maybe you know, maybe you don't know, I, I love esports, I love competitive esports, and that goes from everything from uh, first person shooters like Call of Duty and Halo to MOBAs uh, for the PC like League of Legends and Dota uh, fighting games like Street Fighter all of that stuff I love that stuff and I follow it very closely um, recently I've been kinda of paying attention to the Counter-Strike GO scene as well I just love esports in general and I, I follow all of it so it's been a cr pretty crazy week or so uh, for esports the League of Legends season just started and whatnot so um, yeah, I just uh, I've been busy with that and just following the scenes and whatnot. But anyways, guys, I'm back off from my little hiatus there, <clears throat> and um, I wanted to talk about something that was pretty interesting. Really quick, um, a couple seconds ago, if you're paying attention to the gameplay in the background, you saw me kind of like bunny hopping, looking really stupid because I'm trying to get up on the stairs. You're gonna see that happen to me a couple times this game. This game, uh, hopefully, it's. I'm pretty sure my scuff is like going to shit because my A button, my A paddle on the back of my controller is like acting really stupid and sometimes like it's registering like I'm tapping it but I'm like I'll just press it once, I don't know, it's just, hopefully it's, it's, it fixes itself or something because that would kind of suck. <clears throat> but yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know there's going to be a couple times where I look pretty dumb where I'm trying to lift and it's just bunny hopping instead. Anyways. Um, so as you guys know, Bungie, maybe you do, maybe you don't, uh, Bungie releases these weekly updates on their site, and it's kind of like an overcast to what is going to be included for us in the next patch, what they're working on, um, stuff like that. And as of the Destiny weekly update that they released on February 5th, okay, so let's see, today is the 8th, uh, February 5th, which was Thursday a couple days ago, um, they released one, and this one was titled Destiny Weapon Tuning, okay? Um, if you guys pay attention to the videos on my channel or you follow me, you know that I uploaded a video, a couple, one of my more recent ones, I talk about the weapon balance of the game and some of the concerns that I have for the current meta. So it's kind of came at a perfect time because not too, you know, not too soon after, or not too later after, they release this update preview for us and this is huge for anybody that um, that likes crucible that follows crucible which I'm assuming is the majority of people people can since my channel is primarily based off of destiny crucible so if you haven't listened to my commentary go ahead and go listen to it you can kind of see some of the um, hear some of the some of the concerns that I have but a big thing, a big concern I had for the game uh, that I expressed in the video is that hand cannons are too damn dominant in the current meta. And I really wanted to see a change in that. Sure enough, here it is, guys, with uh, update 1.1.1. They are going to be making some changes to the Crucible. First off, let me go ahead and say that I am very happy to see Bungie taking a proactive approach to, right there, you see the Reign of Terror medal, the 15 kill streak, and I think this is, oh, never mind, I actually got the jump off that time. Um, I think it's awesome that Bungie is paying attention to the community, and just um, a couple days ago, actually, they held like an open forum posting where they uh, wanted people to express their thoughts and opinions on how they could improve the uh, Destiny Crucible system. And I, you know, the, primarily I want to say, I think the biggest thing that I saw or the most frequent thing I saw posted was the lack of crucible rewards which I do think is a huge thing but I'm not gonna get into that too much guys because you know me and uh, honestly I'm a, I'm, I'm a crucible guy I, I, I'm a PvP guy for the, for the most part in any game and don't get me wrong I like my PvE stuff but for the most part I'm a very competitive person and I mainly just care about the weapon balancing and tuning because I play crucible for fun as I get slide shotgunned in the mouth and then he salutes me what a little shit um 
So what they're going to be doing with this patch is, number one, they're going to be nerfing hand cannons, okay? I think that is great, and I think that it's exactly what hand cannons need. I think they need to be nerfed 100%. Um, one of the huge things I want to be looking at here, one of the big changes that they are making to hand cannons, one thing in particular, I'll read this word for word here. Um, damage falls off. Uh, dam damage fall off starts closer to the shooter and follow-up shots are less accurate at long range that it could be huge for the game especially considering the fact that thorn is a damn mini sniper and could two-shot people across the map considering the fact that you can three-shot people with the hand can with a uh, last word hand cannon from across the map that just should have never been a thing in the first place and they are nerfing that depending on the sig uh, how significant it might be I think it's gonna be huge and I think it's what the game needs Pulse rifles are getting a buff. I think pulse rifles are going to be overall a lot, a lot better. The uh, They are increasing the base damage of pulse rifles by almost 10%. I think the exact is like 9.8 or something like that, 9.7. Um, and the DPS is going to be more in line with other primaries now, which is huge. I think the Red Death and Bad Juju are going to be awesome. Uh, it's really, really good to hear. Um, if you pay attention to... Uh, I know a lot of you guys are who are my subscribers came over from from Cyfax's channel and he has some absolutely dirty gameplays of him using the bad juju just shitting on people dropping 50 bombs uh, so I can only imagine you know the type of things that people are going to be able to do with the pulse rifles now and last thing auto rifles are getting a nerf I don't I don't think that okay here's the thing if you watch my last commentary, you know that I feel that Bungie jumped the gun on the nerf to the auto rifles initially when they nerfed the headshot damage. <clears throat> well, they are nerfing the auto rifles again, but I'm not too upset about it, and let me get into why. They are reducing the base damage of auto rifles by 2.5%. Their reasoning for this is that auto rifles are by far, the, at least according to their statistics, they're by far the dominant um, multiplayer primary that is used, which is pretty crazy. Then again, I mean, not so much, but still, regardless. The reason why I feel like the nerf is okay, even though if you listen to my last commentary, I'm talking about how they should buff the auto rifles back to how they used to be is... A big reason why I feel like they should the, the change should have been reverted in the first place was due to the fact that the hand cannons were just so dominant and with this nerf it could pull the this could be I think they're more worried about not making it so that since they're nerfing hand cannons that auto rifles are gonna be just by far the dominant thing again they don't want it to shift back to how it was at the beginning of the game where it was all about auto rifles and that's it so with the nerf to the hand cannons i think they're kind of playing it more on the safe side bringing everything more in line um so that we have like this diverse you know there's a couple different depending on like maybe the map situation that you're on it's not always going to be last words maybe certain certain maps like rusted lands or something a pulse rifle will be better for those longer range of sights whereas a map like firebase delphi where you're primarily inside fighting for b you know stuff like that uh, maybe a hand cannon would be better so i think they're just more playing it cautious and making it so that uh, auto rifles aren't like by far the more like most dominant weapon which i think could be a good thing so overall i'm really excited about these changes guys hopefully you are too i'm gonna go ahead if you want to i only touched on a couple things the things that really i felt like needed to be touched on if you guys want to go ahead and read it word for word for yourself i'll go ahead and link the details in the description below and um yeah guys uh, like i said sorry about the little break i took i'm back i'll be uploading a bunch of content and stuff for you guys like God knows I have a million of it. So um, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.